I use mice to understand the role of sex hormones in the modulation of social behavior. And for this reason, I infuse uh, sex hormones in, in specific brain regions of the mouse brain and then assess mouse behavior. In particular, I test them for social recognition, object recognition, object placement, and also uh, aggression. The goal of my research is to understand the liberal effects of sex hormones and translate these findings to people. And uh, this is particularly important for all those people that are exposed to hormonal therapies, uh, such as, for example, uh, for cancer treatments or during the general affirmation procedures or even uh, with uh, contraceptive peers. My research can also be the starting point for further studies in which uh, abnormalities in social behaviors are investigated, such as autism spectrum disorder. We use mice because they are a really amazing uh, social species that mimic pretty well sociality in humans. So mice are a really great model because they uh, express a, a really amazing behavioral repertoire uh, about social behaviors. And so in this way, we can manipulate something in the brain and understand how it affects um, behavior in living organisms. We also use known uh, animal models, uh, such as cells. However, since we want to understand how sex hormones affect behavior, we have to use uh, uh, an animal to understand uh, uh, the behavioral implication of this uh, uh, modulation. I think that uh, uh, talk about my research and the use of animals in research in general is sometimes pretty challenging because there is a general lack of knowledge about what we do with animals on a daily basis uh, in our labs. Uh, so I think it's part of our mission as scientists to share what we do so that people can understand why we use animals, how we use animals, and to show that we do that in the most ethical and respectful way possible.